Well, she's on, and other than that being like really close, um, really close, I think it's gonna be okay. The rest of it looks pretty good. You know, that's pretty close there too, but that doesn't matter so much. I don't know if I can come this way a bit more, it'd be nice, but uh, it's fitting good under here too, right? So that's all right. That's what I was worried about. It's gonna be too close there, so everything up here looks good. Get to the puller nice. So yeah, that's uh I thought that was gonna look really crappy with that newer style motor on it, but you know it's not really that, that bad. Because all well, most of the red's hidden up here behind your seat, right? So you don't really see that. It's all this uh, silvery gray color from the from the engine. So so yeah, but uh, I'm a little concerned about that gap there. But um, got to fill her up from somewhere, I guess, right? That's gonna be a nightmare to drain out too when you want to change the oil. It was buried down in here. See the plug down in there. That's not gonna be much fun. You're very much have to take the wheel off, I guess, to change the oil. But yeah, well, I just gotta figure out that mount and try to get that stupid pulley off. Maybe I should try it next. If I can't get it off, and there's no point in going much further. Well, got the puller on here, and uh, I got the. The screws right out. Come on, you focus. There, got the screws right out. There's two of them. There's one there. And here we go. See what we can do. My wrench. Eleven sixteenths. Oh, it's not even tight. Oh man, that's so much nicer. Oh, I probably don't even need the puller. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, maybe not. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. No fighting it. Oh, man. That's so nice. That is so nice. I hate fighting those things. Well, since that pulley was so nice to me, I'm going to treat it to a free day at the spa. That's hard with one hand. Oh, that's three times I missed it. There we go. She's in the spa. So I've got my light here. Turn that on. There, can you see in there now? Maybe I'll see if I can get some shooting in there for you. Mm, sorry guys, the sandblaster thing just isn't going to work. I have to change my uh, glass inside and then it gets all foggy too inside because of the sand blowing around. But I'll show you sort of what we're doing anyways, but you can see how foggy it is, eh? Because this stuff gets pitted, right? So, uh, yeah, it's more focusing on the glass, too. But um, I'll give you just a quick blast here. You can see it all fogs up, eh? So, yeah, the camera just can't handle that. So, But I'll show you after. Okay, so he appreciated his day at the spa. He, uh, a little bit of holes there. That's funny. Must have been in the casting, but, uh, yeah, it's cleaned up. We're just going to slap it on this Honda. And see how we're looking for belt alignment and stuff now. Okay, so there was a wee issue with the pulley that was there. It was just not lining up with, uh, how much shaft I got here. I guess I guess the back of that other engine must have come out further than the shaft come out of that. So but um so what I did was I cut that apart. There's the other piece that's friggin' hot. But you know I got a nice cut on her. Nice and square. So what I was figuring is I'd uh put that on there. Maybe. She needs a bit of cleaning I think yeah. She's a bit rough. But uh, yeah, that'll sit on, I think that way was the way I planned, so it'll give me... Well, basically what was happening is it was sitting about there. Because uh, this end here, I don't know if you can see, it doesn't, it's not collar big enough to go over this piece here. So, uh, whenever I get this on, it'll probably sit about there, and then it'll line up better with these, uh, these pulleys.
pulleys on here like that, so I'll actually have a bit of meat to hook that onto. So I'm not going to probably run the PTO anyways, which was these other ones down here, because uh, it's just completely dicked, so it's not going to get not going to get used. That mower is just too far gone, so should be on the scrap heap the next time. So I'm just going to maybe go and sandblast this again and uh, clean it up a bit. Slide on better maybe. Okay, so we're all blasted. Let's see how this fits now. Well, that's better. Oh, well, that's way better too there. It uh, actually looks good. So, uh, that'll give me just enough to screw that down. I wonder if I can even go this way with it. Yeah, I could even. God, I could almost run that thing actually off of that. I don't know what these other ones here were for. There's another set of pulleys, you know, like the other the other set. But, geez, I can almost run those too still if I really wanted to. That's good, actually. But, um, she's going to need longer belts, I think, too, because these ones are a bit too short now. So this engine, I think, sits a bit higher as well. So, yeah, you can see she's just not going to fit. Well, we got her all mounted, and I freaking chipped this when I was... Just tapping it on. I don't know what kind of metal that is, but man, it's soft. And uh, yeah, we got her uh, bolted on and bolted on, and she's really tight there. I can't even get my finger in behind, so I'm probably not snapping that off, but maybe I should just carve that right off right now, you know. So we got uh, not much gap there, though. She's uh, actually rubbing, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'm not too sure yet. But um, that probably needs air too, so it'll probably be even worse when I put air in it. So she she may not work. I don't know.